In this tutorial, you will learn how to draw a buffer, around a single point, or a group of points. Begin by refreshing the map, and closing the broadband providers widget, and the map display choices widget. Click on the coordinates tab, on the find an address widget. Press the locate button. The map will zoom you, to the Arizona State Capitol building. Minimize the find an address widget. Open the buffer widget, by clicking its icon, on the title bar. The buffer widget does not have any tabs. All the tools are contained on a single page. Hover your mouse over the first tool on the top row. This tool is for adding, one or more points, to your map. This tool has a white border. This means it is not activated yet. Click once, to activate the add point tool. Notice how the border turns black. Move your mouse across the map. Notice how the tooltip prompts you, to click to add a point. Click on the center of the red target. A blue marker will be placed on the map. Press the clear button. This removes the blue marker. Change the point color to green. Change the point size to 24. Activate the add point tool, and add a larger green marker over the red target. You are going to draw, a 1000 foot buffer, around this point. Enter, 1000 as your buffer distance. Select feet as your distance unit. Click the apply buffer tool. Clear the buffer by pressing the clear tool. Set the fill color to light green. Set the outline color to red. Set the outline width to 5. Click the Apply Buffer tool one more time. You will see a light green buffer with a red outline. Press the Clear Buffer tool on the bottom. Engage the Add Point tool, to add a second point, in the Wesley Bolin Memorial Park. Click on the Apply Buffer tool. Two buffers are drawn, that overlap each other. Clear the buffers. Check the Dissolve option on the bottom row. Click on the Apply Buffer tool. Notice, how this dissolves the two buffers into a single zone. Reduce the opacity value to 0.3, and see how the buffer becomes more transparent. This makes it easier to view the aerial base map. In the next tutorial, you will learn how to search for schools, libraries, hospitals, etc., that fall within a buffer, using the search widget.